Can you see his sound? Right then, mini time, and this is a video we didn't want to be doing because, well, it's been pretty reliable. One gearbox failure in all the time we've had it, and I think that's pretty much all we've had hassle with. Popped a boost pipe or two off when we first did all into core, but as expected till you get everything perfect. So yeah, last time out, I just got Paul to drive down in this to the track just in case we end up getting caught up doing some adjustment changes on the TT while we're doing testing. I could still just have a little drive about while I waited. We paid for track time after all. And then, um, yeah, I think I did two or three laps. We tie in, Ty just turned up, he were on a job nearby. Thought I'd take him for a couple of laps and uh, knock, knock, knock. Sounds like we're uh, missing a big end bearing. I think we ought to check oil. Maybe. <laughs> Definitely sounds a little... Uh... Sticky. Paul shows me the oil on that this morning when he drove it. Some have come out, haven't they? Rub it and see what it looks like it's halfway, isn't it? It's alright, isn't it? I'll say yeah. Get a red. No god! No god, please no! No! Yeah, not sure what's gone wrong. That meant I had to get Paul and uh, Tom a lift home from track, but that's what happens when your car that you drove down in gets blown up. So yeah, George is with me, aren't you George? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna check the mini engine. Yeah, and figure out what's happened. Yeah, because we reckon, we reckon it's a big end. We're hoping it's just the big end bearing, and then we can just put a new bearing in and go from there. But if it needs a crank, it needs a crank. I don't really want to put another full engine in because I know this one, other than what's just happened, we're all right. If we buy another scrap yard engine, you can end up like what seems to happen quite often for people where you put an engine in, then another engine, then another engine, and eventually get a good one. And a brand new one's like four grand, so ridiculous. So anyway, we'll get up on ramp, get sump off, start prying about and poking about, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Give me one of the magnetic trays to put this in. lighting is but there's literally nothing in this nothing at all and then in this this is all bits from bottom feels a little bit the place has felt a little bit of roughness yeah, a little bit of summer. Like this sump's already been off at some point. Don't want to be tons of seal at that, but BMW specialists tell me, does that look factory? And why would that be marked like that if it had not already been off? Hmm, mm hmm, Let's keep prying, see what happens. This is well 
I'm stuck on. Can you just slack it with hammer? That wouldn't be good, would it? Yeah. Jesus Christ, it's Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh. You got it? Oh, there we go. Oh. Beautiful. What did you do with that on then? There's like a big gap between. Yeah. Oh. There we go, that's dipstick gone. The dipstick popped out as well. Yeah. So we should be able to. Look at that. Feels like it's tight at this side. There we go. Third gun, it's just like stuck on it. Oh, there we go. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that's something in it. What is it? Is it better that rest what's left at bearing? Yeah. Yeah. Big metal flex. I think I'll let oh. I do it. <laughs> That's not good, is it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Drippage. Yeah, we've got it off. So this, I don't know what it's actually for, is the tool for the sump removal. <laughs> Fry bar, George. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's on. It's off. It's off. It's off. Right. Yeah, that's it. It's on the shelf. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that one. cranks probably done as well, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, the con rod and the bearing have become. Tim foil. Oh, that's welded on that, Rob. So, it's out. I don't know where Adam's going to look here, but you can sort of see that's the bearing welded to this con rod. You can see it all upside there. You could see it better earlier. All scored on the crank. But then all the others look pretty good. Number four's got a little bit of a score in it, but the others don't look too bad. But yeah, that's the bottom bearing. And then the top bear is obviously all squashed and welded and dead. So up to now, we do not know why this has happened or how, well, we know how it's happened. We're at track and it died. But what caused it, still not sure. So the engine's got to come out anyway. So I'm just going to have to button this back up and then we'll get a chance, don't know when, to get the engine out, take the crank out, see if it can be saved. I don't think it can. The Conrad definitely can't be saved, but we do have another one of these engines that we got as a mock-up one for doing a big fuel pump and stuff. It's a 125D engine, so we'll see if we can nick some pieces from that to build this one, or if it's going to be too much trouble, we'll just get another engine, but I think it's two grand for a used engine, probably four grand for a brand new one. Don't want to really put a used one in, because used engines the used labour cost money and if we put a dead one in you just get a new engine again and that's no good. A new one, you don't really need a new engine, it's a 90 odd thousand mile car so yeah, see what's what. One of the lads were wanting to buy this car as well prior to it being exploded. So we'll see what he wants to do. If he wants to buy it as it is as a project then he's going to get it quite cheap or if we fix it up then it's going to be more expensive and possibly get raffled, I don't know, we'll see. But we need to get it sorted, go on a track day, make sure it's right, see how we get on from here. It's all 
I can see sound. Can you see sound? Uh, so, Paul had a little bit of messing about stripping this engine down. Turns out we bought a boat anchor. This one's even worse. Look at the shells on this. And when we're looking on eBay, there seems to be loads of these engines and loads of cranks with one bearing scored. I don't know what people are trying to get for them because I don't think you can repair them enough. I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can. Hopefully, whoever ends up with this engine can because it's going back together and get rid of it. The timing chain tension has gone as well, which when we've stuck the bar scope in, it looks like the pistons and valves of it each other. So that engine's basically just complete toast. So we're going to get rid of that and go from there. So the next thing, we're going to have to find an engine. So bear with us. <laughs> 